Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering mechanics. Well, today we will jump into our first problem based on the work energy principle or rather its application. And first of all, I would suggest all of you to pause the video right now and go through this description. Okay, and then I'll explain to you this entire description in a sort of a story form. All right, now assuming that you've read the description. So here it is. So you guys are driving a car. Okay, and that car, in fact, is having a mass of 1500 kgs. Let me write all the data that has been provided to us. So the mass of the car has been given as 1500 kgs. Okay, what else? So you are traveling down the plane and this is that inclination. How much? That's 5 degrees. Okay, let's say this is, uh, let us write theta is equal to 5 degrees. What else? So you're traveling with a speed of 1000, not 1000, but 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, so that's your velocity 100 kilometers per hour. So what we wish to do is, uh, in order to make calculations easy, uh, we always uh, work with meters and seconds. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna convert this kilometers per hour into meters per second. This is gonna be very simple, 100 kilometers is nothing but 1000 meters over one hour has how much 3600 seconds if i'm not wrong 3600 seconds so once you do this calculation this velocity of the car is eventually going to work out as 27.78 meters per second this is an approximation okay um, up to two decimal places that's it now what happens is you are driving your car at a certain distance away you see an obstruction okay let's say you see an animal what are you gonna do you're gonna apply brakes okay and in that process there is going to be a braking force which is going to act in a direction if your motion is if the direction of motion is this way then the braking force is gonna act this way opposite to the direction of motion right so the total braking force okay the braking force in totality is how much 8000 newtons let me shift this slightly. Let me make some more space. Force braking is to be taken as 8000 newtons. Okay. And when you apply brakes, um, you will observe that the velocity of the car gradually decreases. And after a certain point in time, it eventually stops. So the moment you apply brakes and the moment the car stops, between that, the distance traveled is something that we wish to calculate. Okay, so here it has been clearly written. Just make some, yeah. Determine the distance traveled by the automobile or the car as it comes to a stop. Okay, now here is the deal. I have another figure over here. Okay, with which we're going to be understanding what exactly is really happening in this case. Let me shift it slightly. Right. Okay. So first of all, we need to work out all the forces which are acting on this car okay at any instant so let's let's do it like this here we go now guys let's say this is the center of gravity of the car okay weight of the car will obviously be acting in the downward direction how much is the weight well the mass is 1500 so the weight is obviously going to be 1500 g okay now this is the incline right and this angle is nothing but it's a very small angle five degrees so you're going to have two components like this and like this this is five degrees so this over here will be the cost component so let's write over here 1500 g that is 9.81 on planet earth cos 5 and there is one more force which is actually assisting the car in traveling downhill and that's uh, 1500 g sin 5 right so these these are basically the components of uh, the weight now this is exactly the moment when you apply when you apply brakes and this over here is exactly the moment when the 
car eventually stops so here you can say that you are moving with a velocity of how much that is 27.78 meters per second and here let's say this is position 1 let's say this is position 1 and let's say this is position 2 and here eventually as the car stops so the velocity that the car will have in this position 2 will be obviously equal to 0 okay and in that process the car has traveled a distance of x meters and gradually the velocity decreased okay starting from 27 um, uh, roughly to 0 finally all right now when you applied the brakes there was a braking force let me just note that braking force that braking force will be acting somewhere along the tires and it's going to be something like this let me do this that braking force has been given as 8000 newtons okay so these are essentially the forces 8000 newton and 500g shine 5 are the two forces acting along the plane okay and what we wish to do is we wish to calculate the work done by these forces starting from point one until we reach here that is point two where the car eventually stops and that work done will be equal to the change in kinetic energy and the kinetic energy at point two will be obviously zero half mv square velocity zero and the kinetic energy at t at uh, one is going to be something we'll work that out okay eventually so let's get started let me zoom out slightly yeah yeah that's good now i wish to have a different color which color should i choose okay let's use a black color okay what we wish to do is we're going to apply the work energy principle and it's going to be fun guys watch this video right till the end all right okay so the work done in carrying the car or in bringing the car from position one to two by all the forces acting along this plane and the forces are 1 g sine phi and this 8000 newtons okay will be equal to the change in kinetic energy that is final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy let's worry about this force initially right this fellow 1500 g sine phi now the direction of this force is right inside okay down the plane and the motion is also in this way so force and displacement both of them are in the same direction that means a positive work so we have this let me write it over here positive 1500 g sine 5 and for how long is this force gonna keep on acting until we reach here that means this force will start here and it will end here in that process it is gonna keep on acting for a distance of x meters so we have to multiply this with x that's it what's next okay now let's worry about this breaking force 8000 newtons so the motion is happening this way breaking force is happening this way you can clearly see breaking force and displacement are opposite in direction that means negative work okay so i will put a negative sign over here name of the force is what 8000 multiplied by what x and this is going to be equal to t2 now guys finally the velocity is how much zero so half mv square it's going to be also zero so t2 so that's zero okay the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy that's half of m that is mass of the car multiplied by the velocity of the car square in this position that is at one now this is going to be fairly simple mass of the car can be taken as uh, um, uh, 1500 kgs if i'm not wrong yes velocity is obviously 27.78 so let's do this quickly when you put this value into a calculator you're going to get this 1282.49 one two 82.49 right and x can be taken as common minus 8000 times of x and it's going to be equal to half of m that is mass of the car which is to be taken as 1500 kgs multiplied by the velocity that is 27.78 square you just have to solve this equation this is pretty simple the value of x finally works out as 86.18 meters okay so the moment you apply brakes and after traveling a distance of how much 86.18 meters 
the car or the automobile will eventually stop. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubt or query, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering mechanics, then do share and like this video, subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you get a notification, you get an update. Anyways, I'm going to be back with more such videos on work energy, mechanics and drawing, whole lot of subjects. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day and keep learning.